it up. <laughs> well, those are two big guys. That must have been interesting. Bar for the point after. And the Eagles have a 10-0 lead. Their first rushing touchdown since the, since the Jets game in week four. Tim Ryan with Matt Mellon at RFK Stadium where the Eagles have taken a 10-0 lead. The rookie Von Hebron's one-yard touchdown run after the interception by Otis Smith, Brian Mitchell's fourth down pass attempt. Well, Tim, let me, ready to kick it yeah, off. I'm sorry, but let me tell you this. There's not too many teams in the league when you take probably your best running back on the team, has a touchdown at one end, then they turn around and they put him on kickoff coverage on the other end. He's still a free agent rookie. <laughs> <laughs> and they're reminding him of that. That's exactly right. <laughs> You're doing a good job now. Go out there and make a tackle. <laughs> Desmond Howard and Brian Mitchell, the deep man, and it's going to be Howard from the five. Good return by Howard at the 34-yard line where James Joseph made the tackle. Well, Tim, you take your best running back, like I said, and you put him on special teams, you expect him to go down and make a tackle, but Von Hebron says, look, I'm out here, and I get paid to run the football, and I'm going to run down, and I'll make it look good, but I'm not about to get involved in anything. Look at this. And see, he's the safety, and he's making sure he's staying away. Word on Antone Davis of the Eagles, the right offensive tackle, a bruised knee, and they hope to get him back into the action. Washington, meanwhile, starting from their 34-yard line, trailing 10-0. Three thirteen remaining in the first half of play. Washington has been through ten quarters now without scoring a touchdown. Offense has been the big problem for both of these teams who detail the injuries, and that's the primary reason. Richie Pettibone pulling out all the stops with a fourth down pass in his own end. And that uh, failed to click, and indeed turns into a Philadelphia score. Gannon, Ricky Sanders, about five. Well, it's Doubleheader Sunday on CBS today with the NFL action. And some of you will see the 49ers at the Rams, that great West Coast rivalry. And others will see Phoenix at the New York Giants. So stay with us all day long. More NFL action ahead here on CBS. To that San Francisco team, that team is really starting to come on. They've made some changes defensively. Steve Young is healthy, and they're really starting to score points. Again, and now 7 of 11 for 75 yards. First down. And that's what the Washington Redskins haven't had, Tim. They haven't had a guy with this kind of speed, with these kind of moves, and they haven't had it consistently all year long. Now watch Brooks first. He has the vision. Now make the cut. Outside, back, inside. Find where no one is. Stick it up inside. Pick yourself up a first down. They're really excited about him in a, in a year that's really been an offensive disaster. He has been the man who stood out. Clyde Simmons uh, injured on the last play. Boy, it's unbelievable how these things happen. The injury run happens to a club, and it just seems ongoing and yeah. ongoing. It's like an infection. You know, the thing is, Tim, I, I can't remember a year when so many teams had so many players injured. I, this might be the worst that I can remember. Rookie Mike Chalensky, number 71, has come in to replace Simmons at right defensive end. 260 pounder from UCLA, a free agent rookie. That's a good job right there of, of Seth Joyner talking to the rookie right, right when he comes in and try to make him settle down and let him know everything's going to be fine. And they take uh, Perry out here on first down as well. Gannon, screen pass, Brooks. to the 26-yard line. There's a flag down back near the line of scrimmage. Brooks was finally brought down by his old man. But the flag is back near the line of scrimmage. The nice job by the Washington Redskins on the call. Now, what Reggie Brooks does well, as you see, he got a man downfield too soon for the Washington Redskins on the screen. It looks like Mo Elowanib is a little upset. What they do is they take the rookie and they get him out where no one, he's great in space, Reggie Brooks, so they put him out in space and let him do his stuff. 
Ineligible receiver, offense, number 76, downfield. Five-yard penalty, still first down. That's big Ed Simmons, number 76, who they got back this week. And he's the offensive tackle. He's going to be right here. Now they're going to try the screen to this side. Watch, he'll pound, pound. Now get out. Line of scrimmage is here, and guess what? They caught him. He's downfield. Well, we have a timeout on the field. Philadelphia on top, 10 to nothing. Two minutes remaining here at RFK Stadium. And Philadelphia up 10 to zip. You're looking at Art Monk, number 81, a well-known number, a well-known name in this league. Is yet to get into the ball game, and has a uh, consecutive games receiving streak of 158 games going. He caught one against the Rams last week. It didn't come until the final minutes of the game, and uh, they no doubt will make an effort to get him in there. But Desmond Howard is the starter, with Sanders moving into the slot position. First down, Gannon off the mark intended for Middleton, the tight end. Well, Tim, and this is the time when Art Monk should be in there. You have to have something going, get something going. You need the cunning, you need the guile, and you need it now. Art Monk, yes, yeah, he's not as fast as he has been. Yes, he's not as quick as he has been, but he understands the game. When you talk to guys who are going to play against Monk, they all say the same thing. They can't believe that he's not on the field, and they would like to see him have a chance to play. You hear the crowd right now. We want Monk. Second down and 15. Rolling left, Gannon. Good mobility. Picks up about six as he's forced out of bounds. Good coverage downfield by the Eagles. Yeah, real good coverage. And what they tried to do first with Gannon is roll him out to buy him some time. You can see he's going to go all the way out. Then they run the route, and there's no one open. And there's nothing you can do as a quarterback. You can buy yourself all kinds of time. But look at this. Look at the deep zone right here. And the underneath zone with the chase over here. Nowhere to throw the football. He has nothing to do but eat it, try to make as much as he can, which brings up third and long. The crowd still in the Monk chant. Ricky Sanders has been quite public about having uh, all of the wide receivers rotating around and not getting into a rhythm with the quarterbacks, especially because they've had to replace Rippon because of his injury. And that's knocked down intended for Howard. And it was Mark McMillan, number 29, coming in to slap it away. Tim Ricky Sanders is in the slot, and he may have liked to go to him, but when you get manhandled like this, you can't go anywhere. Watch him come up. Now watch back inside. That's a very good job by William Thomas. What I see less and less of in this league is linebackers who will knock off a crossing receiver. Thomas played it perfectly. So Roby into punt, standing at his 33-yard line, 141 to play, first half. Sick of him at the Eagles 10. A dandy punt from Roby. And it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. 53-yard punt by the former Dolphin. And Sanders, uh, just going back to that Art Monk situation, as we remind you that coming up at halftime, uh, Greg and Terry will have scores and highlights and a little preview of the 49er Rams and Phoenix Giants games. Just going back to Ricky Sanders' comments, he says, when you have guys rotating all around, you don't know what's happening. Going into a game, we don't know who's going to play what, where, when, or how long we're going to be in there. And he thinks that uh, receivers need the rhythm, especially with these new quarterbacks. So Sanders has been vocal about the situation, more so than the usually silent Art Monk. Yeah, well, and the thing is, they, they know Art Monk has that streak going, and they said, the coaching staff of the Skins said that they wanted to get him in early and get it over with, so if they come down to the end of the game, they can work their game plan, which really doesn't include Monk. First down, Eagles with a 10-0 lead, and they throw on first down. Intended for Lofton, that's batted away by Darrell Green. But, Tim, I tell you, you could not beat the break that Darrell Green had on the ball to Lofton. Everything went perfectly. What ends up happening is that Green breaks on the ball. Just as he's settling into his zone, he comes back and knocks it down right at the last second. So it's second and ten. Second and ten. Great freak on the ball there by Green. Had he been able to keep going, he'd be in the end zone. Brister on second and ten. Walker 